What's happening guys and welcome back to Sliced and welcome back to the original food series. It's really hot outside today so we're going to try and make something really refreshing. We're making bubble tea. Now I know I like to make things really easy on this channel but this is a bit more of a scientific kind of video if you know what I mean. Because we're actually going to be making the popping balls that you find inside bubble tea. This is a recipe where you can sort of take it generally and apply it to many different juices or drinks or flavors, whatever you want. It's a very simple recipe, uh, more simple than you think. And it requires a few ingredients, um, so let's get right into it. But first, a brief history about bubble tea. This is really interesting because all this time I thought bubbles referred to the little popping balls at the bottom or the tapioca pearls. Not the case. So I think it started in around 1980 in Taiwan. So they had these sort of like street carts outside with like different teas and stuff like that. And one of the sellers outside of a school would mix it with some fruit and some flavoring and she'd shake it up and the kids loved it. And so everyone started to do that. Now when she shook it and poured it into the cup or whatever, there'd be a sort of layer of bubbles that form at the top. You know, like when you pour out fizzy or any kind of juice, it has that layer of bubbles. So because she shook it and poured it, a lot of bubbles would form and it became bubble tea, which is just mind blowing to be honest. I mean, crazy. But you know, the more you learn. Now we're gonna start with a few ingredients that are gonna seem crazy and scientific, but trust me, they're just long words and they're basically the same as using seasoning in your food, okay? So, the first ingredient is sodium alginate. We're gonna need five grams of that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this in with one liter of preferably distilled water. I'm just gonna use normal water. And that's gonna create our sort of bath, which we're gonna drop our popping balls into. Next up, we have the actual flavor sort of ball mix itself. So we're going to use 500 grams of any fruit juice. If your fruit juice is thick, almost like a puree, then by all means just leave it as it is. If it's thin like the one I'm using, then just put half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. And this is a sort of binder which helps to thicken it slightly. And you can get xanthan gum in a lot of supermarkets actually, you'll find it in the baking section. We're also going to mix this with five grams of calcium lactate. And this is what's gonna form that sort of, help form that sort of shell when it reacts with the sodium alginate bath. And finally we have another 500 mils of our fruit juice mixed with five grams of calcium lactate. And we're gonna use this to set our balls in and they're gonna sort of form that lovely sphere shape. So in total, five grams of sodium alginate and 10 grams of calcium lactate, which we're breaking down into two. And half a teaspoon of xanthan gum if you need it. So xanthan gum, like I said, you can find it in a lot of supermarkets, but the other two, you'll have to order them online. I got sent them as a gift, but I'm sure you can find them on any sort of online store. There's lots of places that sell them. They're not too, too expensive, so it should be very easy to get. So what we're gonna do to start with is mix our sodium alginate and one liter of water together. And we're just gonna leave it to settle a bit because right now there's a lot of bubbles, it's a bit crazy, so we wanna just let it settle, let those bubbles kind of disappear. What we're gonna do is take our juice mix, make sure that all the bubbles have sort of disappeared from it so it's a nice clear liquid. So after a bit of trial and error, one, one thing which I figured out is to bring the syringe or spoon, whatever you're using, right up close to the surface, almost basically inside it, and then form your shape there. And you wanna do a few at a time because you really wanna avoid anything touching each other. When it comes to these kind of things, it's always about trial and error, you know? So just try a few and see how it works out. And then if you need to change anything around, just change it around. What I'm gonna do is take a spoon and just very carefully sort of move the individual balls around and this is gonna make sure that it's all reacting and coated. Okay, so after a few minutes, the reaction is basically complete and uh, you can use, I mean, I mean, it's meant to be used with the slotted spoon, but you know, I don't really have one of those on hand. So you can literally just use your hand to carefully pick out each sphere and lay it in the water. And you literally don't want to do this for very long, literally just enough time that it's gonna wash off that sort of chemical. And then as soon as you've done that, we're gonna bring our brine, which is made out of juice and calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate, I mean calcium lactate. I'm thinking about science lessons too much. And you're gonna put them back in there and you're just gonna let them sit and that's gonna really help develop that structure, okay? So you're just gonna repeat it slowly. Don't rush these things, just take your time and it will work out, you know? Now you compare this with whatever you want, and I know you're gonna call me a bit weird for mixing passion fruit and matcha, but this is the kind of thing I like to order when I go for bubble tea. So I'm just using a protein shaker, I'm putting a little bit of matcha inside along with some coconut milk, you can use whatever milk you'd like. 
I'm also gonna add in about two teaspoons of simple syrup, which is just equal parts of sugar and water brought to the boil and then switched off and let cool down. So it's just an easy way to sort of mix in sugar into cold drinks. And I'm just gonna give it a really good shake until it's really nicely combined and pour it over those popping balls into a cup. And there you go, Lord have mercy, that is what I'm talking about. That's a proper drink right there. I hope you've learned something about the history, I hope you learned something really interesting. If you're a massive fanatic about bubble tea like I am, I'm sure you'll love this. Go ahead and try it out and let me know how it goes at slice underscore YT, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, everything. I'll see you later.